In this video, we're going to talk about business models for sustainability, Lars Jakob. Yes, we're going to talk about business models and how you might use the business model as a tool to improve your sustainability performance. We're also going to talk about how you can wrap a business model around any sustainability problem. And then we're going to give some examples of how business models can make a more sustainable world. So what then is a, a business model that can improve your sustainability performance? We're talking about three kind of performances here, the environmental, the social and the financial. And ideally, a business model will do well along all three dimensions. A sustainable business model will typically be both socially beneficial, environmentally beneficial and financially profitable. But to actually improve your sustainability performance, often that requires that you or then the, the business then redesign its business model. Because it's exactly by making changes to what you offer, products and services, how you produce those products or services and deliver them, or how you operate in the marketplace vis-a-vis -vis your customers. It's by making those kinds of changes that you can actually improve your performance with regard to reducing negative externalities and increasing your positive externalities. There are plenty of problems out there, plenty of sustainability problems that needs to be solved. And here lies a big opportunity for, for companies. Exactly, because we spend a lot of time talking about the problems that the company has caused itself. So the pollution that the company causes or its emissions, its energy usage and so on. But very often we see innovation taking place when companies see that there's a big problem out there and I can wrap a business model around that problem. I can turn that problem into an opportunity even if I didn't cause it. Say for instance different kinds of pollution. There are pollution out there that a company is not responsible for, but there are some opportunities there. How can I, as you say, wrap my business model around that problem? Can I solve this problem in new ways because I have some competence or, or resources? Uh, can I then deliver services to companies that produce this pollution? For instance, there are companies that offer clean technologies that can help clean up the mess after other companies who have had a shadowy side that has led to pollution. When we talk about the business model, we talk about the delivery part and the partnership. So here, there can be partnership between different kinds of companies with different kinds of problems. And you can kind of trade problems for solutions between those companies. In the old days, we used to think of companies almost like islands and that any single company needed to address its own externalities and deal with those problems. Today, when we're talking about sustainable business, very often what we're talking about are coalitions of companies working together to solve problems that some of them may have contributed to, to creating the problems, but together they can find solutions that go across organizational boundaries. There are many different kinds of business models that can accomplish this. If you look at business model innovation today, there are so many things happening that are different from how businesses used to look before. Think of something like the sharing economy, Simon. The sharing economy where people or companies can get access to resources and they don't have to buy it and own it themselves. This can be Airbnb where you can live in someone else's house. It can be car sharing rings where you use someone else's car. Or it can be a tractor sharing ring in Africa where you don't own your own tractor, but you can get access to it when you need it. And this is an important point because there is a sharing economy for individuals or for households, but there's also a growing sharing economy in the business to business market where companies see that they can actually share assets across organizational boundaries. In close relation to the sharing economy and the sharing business model, we are also now seeing circular business models where companies do not take, make and dispose products as we've usually done, but they have a circular uh, model here where they not only recycle uh, and use recycled materials, but when they use uh, a product again and again and again and offer it as a service. So circular business models are based on an important idea when we try to build more sustainable companies, which is we need to get more out of less. We need to have higher resource efficiency so that we don't have to 
produce all this stuff again and again, but rather can use in smarter ways uh, the products that we already have, the infrastructure we already have, and like you say, circle them, make sure that they have longer lives using them again and again. We have to remember though that there are huge problems out there to be solved. And waste is, is one big problem, uh, which can, in, in some instances, be turned into opportunities. Only recently, we've met with companies that take the food waste of restaurants and grocery stores, have larvae, small larvae, eat the food waste, and then they use the larvae to create fish feed. That's one example of turning waste into resources. Another company we recently met with works on turning old buildings into new buildings. That is, they tear down old walls, old ceilings and floors, and they recycle the material for reuse so that you can actually build a new house almost from the old one. These are all examples of new ways of thinking about what a business is. The story of how a company works, how it creates, delivers and captures value. By thinking sharing economy, by thinking circular, by thinking waste into resources, for instance. These are all examples of new ways of designing and redesigning the, the story of how a company works. It's important to remember that just improving the social and environmental dimensions of the business model is not enough. It's also crucial that these business models need to be financially sustainable. That is, they need also to be profitable over time. For some of these business models, that can be challenging. For others, it can be easier. In this video, we've introduced the whole idea of business models for sustainability. And if we want a sustainable future, we're going to need a lot of different business models with these kinds of characteristics.